Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Babby and today we're playing Aviary Attorney. It's a um, visual novel chord game based on Mr. Falcon, uh, which you play and uh, lead a courtroom. I think you're <laughs> obviously an attorney. Uh, let's go and continue, which is actually the same as new game. We're going to get a nice little cutscene here. Let's uh, have a little look, shall we? Oh, shall I read, I guess? The Chateau Crinière of Baron can read that. I thought that was going to be uh, someone narrating. Is that Monsieur Grenouille? Oh, mon dieu. It, it takes place in France, by the way. Dame Cataline, what have you done? Oh, I get the pun. See, I'm clever enough for that. All right, so we got Act One, A Cat with Claws. Oh, this is from the trailer. Ah, oh, oh. it's midday already. Where on earth is that featherhead? Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird, Falcon? Ugh. Too early for worms. Pass the Cabernet Sauvignon. There will be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived while you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. Hmm, it's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrison. You may have the honours. All right. Ahem. Uh -huh. Dear Moncho Falcon, I'm writing to you today because my daughter, Dame Cataline, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at La Concierge, prison on the charge of murder. No less, her trial is in three days' time. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer her your legal aid. Yours sincerely, Signor Pertois Demio of the Demio Estate. Wow, all these French names. I'll probably butcher some of them. Uh, do forgive me for that. Well, this is quite interesting. Oh, quite something. I know. Your first serious client in months. Not just that. The Demio Estate is well known for its exuberant wealth. Oh, perspect ah, he sees opportunities here. Even if you cannot do much for Dame Cataline, his lordship will still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow. So I suppose you intend on defending Dame Cataline in court? Of course. Mm, of course. Uh, it would be foolish to let such a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Grab your coat, Sparrison. We're going to find our kitty client at La Concierge. Excellent. My derriere was getting tired from all that sitting around. Oh, but I'd better file away Signor Demio's fir uh, letters first. One moment, Falcon. Hey, it's Mr. Falcon, right? Boutoir's letter has been added to our evidence folder. All right, can we take a look at that? Oh, yeah, we can, we can even read it. That's good. Okay, we can exit it... Access it by clicking on the suitcase. Well, we. Yeah, I did, just did that. Oh, nearly forgot my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that. Uh, again, I recall you losing it at the New Year's party and at Christmas. Mm, yes, alright. No need to make a list. Falcon has picked up his wallet. <laughs> okay, so he didn't know where it is. You may see how much money he's carrying at any time by clicking on the wallet symbol. Let's do that. Oh, we've got 20 francs. Okay. Let's make him move. All right, there we go. This is Paris, I think. Welcome to the map screen. From here on, you can travel to any listed area by clicking on any location name or a location node. Okay. Areas marked with the clock symbol take a, a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbol can be visited freely. Okay, so La Concierge, Conciergerie, Conciergerie, whatever. The sign on the door reads the aviary attorney offices, no case is too big or too small. I think that that is uh, our offices, obviously, and we are supposed to go to La, La Conciergerie. Let's get going then. 
Falcon and Sparrison step into the stone cold foyer of Le Conciergerie prison. Solemn faced guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval arcways. Ah, Le Conciergerie. They say this is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable, the cells are spotless, the guards are well mannered. Well, that's uh, not a nice thing. Is that, is that supposed to be a, a lady? I think so. What do um, want? Oh, it's, it's, it's a man. <laughs> Good day, monsieur. I am here to see Dame Cataline Demier. I am due to present represent her in court. Mm, oh, you're a lawyer? Mm, fine, fine. Follow me. Well, what are you waiting for? Keep up. I don't know what kind of voice I should do for that. Hmm. My papa hasn't forgotten about me. Has he? Should give them a French act. I don't know. Dame Cataline Demieux, I present. I presume. Oh, my God. You've arrived. The fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petite assistant, Sparrison. Milady is knowledgeable. Don't. Don't talk like that, Sparrison. Sorry. My papa told me that he, he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. But they weren't available at such short notice. So he hired the first people in the address directory. <laughs> well, that's a slap to the face, isn't it? Oh. You see, Falcon, I told you listing under aviary attorney would pay off. Let's get down to business. Dame Cataline, could you fill us in some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I can do my best. What is it you wanted to know? What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there at the evening? Did you see anything suspicious? Well, let's go and ask that. I mean, that uh, seems uh, relevant. Dame Cataline, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, um... Maybe a guy lurking in the shadows, or uh, a bloodied murder weapon. Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you are looking for an easy answer. You got me. Well, yeah, I mean, that was a bit easy, wasn't it? I did not see anything, I am afraid. The evening was very normal. The food was delicious. The conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait, Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did? Dame Cataline, you said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was. Oh my god. It was probably uh, some my maze something. You and your damn stomach. Let me see. We had poached red herring to start. Garnished with garlic butter. Oh, that's that's delicious. <laughs> Go on. Then a marbled steak. Serve perfect. Bloody rare. Glorious. Falcon. Write this down. What? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please. F for me. Fine, fine. Red herring has been added to your evidence folder. Bloody rare steak has been added to our evidence folder. I think that this is even going to be relevant, isn't it? Sparrison, remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. Come to think of it, I did find a little strange that we weren't given any cutlery. No cutlery? Even for the steak? That's heresy! Nope. Uh, you would think that the great baron of Chateau Crinière would have gorgeous silverware, but there was none to be seen. That is a bit peculiar. Was there anything else you wanted to know, Monsieur Vacon? Um, I think it's uh, 
I think eventually we're going to ask all things, so it doesn't really matter. What happened on the night of the murder? Who was there? I mean, that's probably important. Dame Cataline, who attended the banquet that evening? Well, there was me and pap my papa. My dearest mama couldn't make it. And there was Baron... Rogier... Oh my god, French. Rogier, who hosted the dinner, and his housemaid, Colleen. I think she was cold. Of course, there was Monsieur Grenouille. Well, until, you know, he died. And there was Monsieur Robizio? Robinho? I think that's the Italian. The man with the camera. But he was only there for a little while. Hmm. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? What happened on the night of the murder? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Hmm. Let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Crinière, the home of great Baron Gorgil. My papa spent all evening talking about Monsieur Grenouille and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner, they were talking about company shares and investments. But I didn't really understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took a photograph. There was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what? Took your what? <laughs> Is he unfamiliar with the concept of photo photography? Camera? It's a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. I'm sure that is not how cameras work, but all right, all right. In 10 minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrison. Plah, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Please continue, Dame Cataline. So after we had the photograph, I went into the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Grenouille. He was all ripped open. A housemate saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been frightening. Or terrifying. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. My papa taught me how to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? No. I think that will be all. So what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Crinière and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down this supposed photographer, Monsieur Robizio de Robinho. Two days for two tasks. Hmm, seems doable. We should get he we should head back and get some rest first. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon. Before you go. You do believe my story, don't you? I believe in justice. That seems like the most appropriate answer, doesn't it? <laughs> Dame Cataline, I believe that a fair trial can draw the truth from any situation. I believe in justice. That's good to hear. You're not wrong, Falcon. But that's not what the lady needed to hear. You might want to work on being less of a... How do you put it? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Fee de put. Like, uh, I think... Put it. Is that not whore or something in French? I don't know. If serving justice makes me a fee de put, then I'll wear that title proudly. Oh, I love Mr. Falcon.
Dame Cataline, Monsieur Grenoui, Baron Roggeel. These names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Well, it is for me. I'm going to start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep track of who everyone is. A what? A Facebook. It's a collection of people's names, pictures, and descriptions in one easy-to-carry catalog. I think I understand. The name could use a little work, though. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, concur. Sparrison has started compiling a Facebook. Yay. Let's take a look who we got uh, on Facebook, or in our Facebook, rather. Oh, Grinwee is a frog. Yeah, that makes sense. He's the one man who got murdered. Cataline is the one that uh, we interviewed. Quark, an ill-mannered jail keeper, seems to feel disgust for criminals and for animals in general. Uh, aren't, isn't everyone an animal, or is that just me? Patois Demio, the wealthy father of Dame Cataline. Okay, a line, that makes sense. Oh, we are even in this book. The aviary attorney himself, Falcon Square, and uh, Courageous Lackey. What a handsome fellow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, let's go. You can access a list of people uh, you have met at any time by clicking on the book symbol. Well, yeah, we did. Let's make a move. All right, a new day, January the 4th, Tuesday. The game is saved automatically at the start of each new day. Well, that's good to hear. You can also make a quick save. Okay, okay. I don't think that uh, we need that much. I think what we'll do... Hmm. I think we're going to go to Chateau Crenier first. No, I think we'll actually take a look at the, the photos first. I think that's probably more important. Um... Yeah, we're definitely going to do that uh, next time. Uh, as for now, this is Aviary Attorney. Nice little intro, a visual novel, novel. Not the kind of stuff I do normally. But let's try to solve some crime uh, for a change, I guess. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a good one. Cheers.